Let's take a minute and see how to create a forum using cPanel. You'll see here, this is just a little form. It's kind of scrunched up here, but it's a form that I've set up for one of my blogs, one of my main websites. And I've got, at this point, about a half a dozen forms. Not all of them are used too much, but I want to show you quickly how easy it is to set up a form using cPanel. Now, not all websites have cPanel. The best way to check uh, whether or not you have it is just to type in your website's backslash cPanel. And you see here I've got to type in my password and all that good stuff. All right, now here's cPanel. There's different versions of cPanel depending on whether your host has upgraded it. This is cPanel version 11. You can uh, see it up there in the right hand corner. Well, maybe not, we'll skip that for now. But what you wanna do is go all the way down to Fantastico. And Fantastico is this automated service that cPanel has that will install various types of software. It can install a basic WordPress blog for you. It can install a forum like we're gonna do right now and various other types of things. We won't go in, into too much functionality here. You can see here on the left hand side, there's uh, different types of blogs, there's different types of content management systems, etc. cetera. Um, and where I'm gonna do something called SMF, which stands for Simple Machines Forms. There's also PHBB2, which you can use. I don't really know the relative difference between those. I just happen to like SMF, and for some reason, it was very easy and intuitive for me to use. Now, you'll see here this little menu item for installing and you see all the various types of forms that I have. I'm doing a new installation, so simply click New Installation. And I've got all my various domains here. There's about a billion of them. For now, I'll just do um, the one that comes up here, which is utahfeldenkreis.org, and I'm gonna call this uh, Test Forum, one word. So now I'm going to create a form at utahfeldenkreis.org slash test form. Uh, remember your SEO, your search engine optimization rules, those apply as well. So if you're selling widgets, you might want to call yours a widget, a uh, widget form. So and I'm going to just say my administrator username is Bob. My uh, password is Bob. And you're going to see here um, site name. You can change that. I'll just call it test form once again. Uh, and you have an email address somewhere where you want people's to, when people register, et cetera, to go to preferred language. So just those few fields you see right there on the domain, what directory you want it in. The directory is going to be a part of your URL, your URL site name, et cetera. And once again, this uh, the site name, of course, you can change later. Simply click Install SMF. All right, that was very simple. Uh, I want them to finish the installation. They're giving me the details here. This is step two of three. All right, it's telling me that they're done, and at the bottom here it says, please send the details of this installation to. This is always a really good idea because when you create your forum, well, let me show you up here, it created a MySQL database. You see this data.sql, it created some other settings, and you don't necessarily need to know what those are, but later on you may decide to change something, you may decide to delete it, your webmaster might need access to it. So just send the details of the installation to yourself. All right, so that's our form, and was it set up? Let's see, we'll go to utahfeldenkreis.org, and I believe we called it test forum, one word. And sure enough. So there, how long did that take? Two minutes, and we created a form. Now I'm not gonna show you much beyond that for right now, but just know that this SMF forum is just like a blog or other website. There's different templates. 
So you can go to the main website and either you or your webmaster can create a different look. I've got you know a red form, a green form, all these different kinds of things. You can add Google AdSense onto your form. Again, there is an automated free little plugin, a little software package that you can use. So um, yeah, this is just the beginning of how to add a website. You don't have to be a programmer. You can do it in three minutes or less. I hope that was useful to you. Enjoy.